Praise God. Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners, Father. And I plead your blood, Jesus, on this in the name of Jesus. Father, I feel the urgency from you, God. And I want to repent of anything I've done, known or unknown, Jesus. And I, I repent on behalf of your people, Jesus. I feel the need for repentance, Father. I'm so sorry that your children don't love you enough, God. I'm so sorry. And God, I thank you for those that do, Jesus. Lord, we, we, we need your... Your grace, God. We need your mercy, Jesus. And I ask you for it in your precious name. Amen. All right. I feel very much, much need to go over this. Some of you do support my ministry. I thank you for that. Okay. And this is one of the things we got, which is a complete bu stu uh, study Bible. So anyway, I want to show you, because I'm going to share the things with you. That's what I do. Okay. I just want to go over with you what Jesus went through. Okay. Let's go through this. It'll be a short video. So, and take, pay attention, okay, his beating, and that's mild, y'all, that's mild for what he did for you, that's mild, at least he's got, this one's got some skin hanging on him, Jesus' skin was shredded and hanging off, okay, so it says the victim is stripped and tied to a pole, naked, humility, he's naked, stripped naked, Tied to a pole, y'all. This is your God. Shards of metal and bone are laced into the leather whip. Shards of metal and bone. The Romans are not limited to just 40 strokes, as are the Jews. So the Jews had a minimum of 40 strokes. The, Rose, the uh, Romans wasn't limited to 40 strokes. He went on and on and on, y'all. It went on and on and on. Flipped him over, turned him around, and did the front. Okay. The pain and blood loss set stage for shock. We can't even imagine the pain and the loss of blood that he suffered. He did that. He gave that to you. Let me get up here for a minute. <clears throat> Okay, let's get right here. Number two. Let's see what it says here. I can't even see it. No, I can't read that. But anyway, let's go on. Number two. So after they shredded him and his skin, his flesh was hanging off his bones, wide open flesh wounds, skin shredded and hanging, then he had to turn around and carry his own cross on his sore, beat up, ripped open back. So, victim carries crossbeam to execution site. Crossbeam is attached to vertical pole. Seat prolongs the seat right there where he put his feet at. The seat prolongs the torture. Makes it last longer. Making it easier to breathe. They take their feet and push up on that right here. They take their feet and push up on it so they can catch a breath. So it prolongs the torture. While he's laying against that thing with his back shredded open, nails driven through his hands and his feet, crown of thorns shoved in the skull of his brain, bleeding profusely for you. Let's go on. Okay, then he's nailed. Let's see, it says, iron nails pin wrists and feet to the cross. Iron nails are driven through his flesh, through his tendons, right there, into the cross. The nails miss the main arteries of the bones. I mean, the nails miss the main arteries and the bones. Okay. Wine laced with pain-killing myrrh or frankincense offered. Jesus refuses it. Okay, and that's on top of his shredded body, front and back, from top to bottom, shredded. Thorns crammed into the skull of his brain. These are big thorns too, y'all. Nails whipped through his hands and his feet. Unimaginable bleeding. Unimaginable pain, y'all. Unimaginable. Let's go on. 
You ain't done yet. <clears throat> Position and weight of body forces. Victim to push up and exhale. He can't breathe now on top of all that he just had done to him. Now he can't breathe. He's suffocating. Suffocating. So breaking legs speeds the death. It forces the arms to do all the work, pulling the victim up to exhale. But Jesus didn't have his legs broken. Praise God. Jesus dies before the breaking of the legs becomes necessary. Let's go on. He ain't done yet. Oh, right here. <clears throat> Soldier confirms death by stabbing the heart. By this time, shock has started separating blood into two basic elements, cell clusters and amber-colored serum. Possible cause of, I'm sorry, water pours out of Jesus' chest. Serum from inside and around the heart. Possible cause of death, a combination of shock, exhaustion, asphyxiation, and heart failure. This is your God that some of you can't give to. So it's your God, y'all, that some of you can't even give your, your mammon to. I'll tell you what. Let's see what it says here. <clears throat> okay. Two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emos, as they talked, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. Luke 24, verses 13 and 15. So as the other Gospels report, Jesus is buried before sunset on Friday. That marks the beginning of the Jewish Sabbath, 24 hours of rest and worship. Okay. Jesus rises from the dead on Sunday morning. That's when several women discover the empty tomb and report it to the 11 disciples, minus Judas, who has already hung himself. That same day, in a story, only Luke reports, two of Jesus' followers who live in the uh, neighboring village of Emmanuel start walking home. Jesus meets them on the path, but for some reason, they don't recognize him. Do you know why they don't recognize him? Because he's in his glorified body now. Okay. Jesus asked what they were talking about. They can't believe his question. He's obviously coming from Jerusalem, yet he doesn't seem to know what happened to the prophet, who so many people thought was the Messiah. So they tell him. Jesus responds with a history lesson from all three major sections of the Jewish Bible, law, prophets, and writings. He quotes predictions on how, about how the Messiah would suffer, predictions fulfilled by his crucifixion. So perhaps he quotes some of these, which the disciples would later use in their sermons. Number one, he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was whipped so we could be healed. Isaiah 53, 5. He was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave, Isaiah 53, 9. You will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave, Psalm 16, 10. My righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous, for he will bear all their sins, Isaiah 53, 11. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. Psalms 118.22. Let's see if that's it. That's it, y'all. <clears throat> that's what he did for you. That's what he gave to you. Why? So that you can have eternal life with our God. That's what we deserve. That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. That's what I deserve. That is what we deserve.
but he loves you enough to where he took it upon himself. So all we got to do is be obedient to him, love him, accept him. And then we get to go straight into glory, bypass all the torture we deserve. That's our God, y'all. If you don't know him, ask him to be your savior. Tell him you're so sorry. So sorry. Now go get to know the one who loves you this much.